The following instructional video is a link from the book Adventures in Water Skiing. More info at TonyClarich.com. Hot dogging can be a dangerous activity, so ski smart, ski safe. The key to hot dog skiing is a good wake jumping foundation, and learning a properly timed pop will develop this foundation. A good cut helps, but timing is the key. For the single wake jump, stop edging about five feet from the wake. Flatten the ski, spring with your legs, and land. Concentrate on maintaining proper form, keeping your head and shoulders square as you pop straight up off the crest of the wake. Cut toward the wake, but notice how the ski flattens just before it contacts the wake's crest. Upper body position remains constant throughout the entire maneuver. Eyes are focused on the horizon, shoulders are square, and the rope is held in. A critical element of the single wake jump is a good 90 degree bend at the knees, just before hitting the crest. As you hit the crest, spring straight up with your legs and bring the ski underneath you. Maximum wake height on the single wake jump is achieved by fully extending your legs as the ski hits the crest of the wake. As you spring, remember to maintain proper upper body position. Only the legs move during this maneuver. The double wake jump is a more aggressive variation of the single wake jump. Ski wider, cut a little harder towards the wake, and spring more aggressively to achieve more air time. The object is to clear the other side of the second wake. The timing of the pop is more difficult than the single wake jump, because of the faster speed when you hit the wake. To compensate for this, make a quick, more forceful pop. <laughs> 